Well, roast my rooster and call me Franklin. It's possible that everything has changed here for the Bitcoin price. I see it. You see it. I think the whole entire world sees it. Right now, Bitcoin is at a critical crossroads where if the bears are taking back control, my friends, we could be due for an absolute plunge deep down into the crypto abyss. But if the bulls, if the bulls are able to overcome the odds here and climb above this resistance range, my friends, we could be due for a blast to a new all-time high. Let's get this crypto. So here on today's stream, we need to look at this from the most realistic perspective as possible, from both a bullish and bearish perspective, to give ourselves the best perceived edge to potentially crush this market and get this crypto. So let's dive in and analyze. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. Let's begin right here on the four hour time frame for Bitcoin. But of course, my friends, if you could, please smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps the channel. Thank you. And if you are brand new, welcome to the most realistic Bitcoin technical analysis channel you're ever going to find. Hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, select all, and let's get this crypto. Welcome to the channel. Now, to kick things off, let's begin here with the structural components of the trend on the four-hour time frame. Quite obviously, Bitcoin negated a potentially catastrophic bear flag. I pointed this out yesterday on the two streams that I did, that this could have been devastating here for Bitcoin if we did in fact see this bear flag play out. But luckily, the pennant did wind up breaking out to the upside after finding support upon old micro resistance, which has now flipped tentatively, at least for the time being, into new local micro support. Right now, Bitcoin is back up at the area where we did expect to see some potential resistance. If you remember, and if you are subscribed here on yesterday's stream, I pointed out the possibility of this upward sloping line of support now acting as a possible zone of resistance, right? And look at where right now, my friends, Bitcoin is being met with some micro resistance. It's right around this area. And in and of itself, this whole area, uh, regardless of the upward sloping trend line, this is the area with the most price confluence, right? Resistance, support, resistance, and support here. So this whole horizontal level as well, basically from about 18,200 all the way up to 18,800, this is an area where, you know, dis just disregard the upward sloping trend line. It is another factor, but just disregard it for now. We have an upward sloping line of resistance and a horizontal line of resistance. So this whole area, from a trend structure standpoint, just in terms of support and resistance, this is a problematic area on a micro level for the bulls. Now, something else I want to point out, just before we even get into the indicators and possible warning signs here, I just want to point out that this trend structure right now is super parabolic, right? I mean, this is a straight line up in and of itself, this is what a bubble looks like, right? And we see these mini cycles all the time, right? Look, mini bubble, pop, right? Uh, if we go back in time here, I'm sure that we could see many, right? Uh, mini bubble, pop, mini bubble, pop, mini bubble, pop. These, these things are normal, right? And generally, the reason why we tend to see things go up so incredibly fast and drop so incredibly fast is because of sheer market psychology. Now, I wanted to pull this up here, my friends, the Wall Street cheat sheet psychology of a market cycle. Just notice that complacency range that I circled there, okay? Does that range right there not look eerily similar to what we are seeing here on the Bitcoin price in the current day, right? I have that circled now. Uh, I just wanted to point that out to you guys that there is an eerie similarity here, right, between the parabolic move that we've been on now, a dramatic sell-off a possible return to normalcy, right, which is then nor known as complacency. It's okay, Kirby. Finally, the dump is over. We're going to the moon, right? And then, you know, look at what happens next. Anxiety, denial, panic, uh, and a capitulation back down to the average price point, which 
if it were to play out like that, keyword if, I know I'm offending the moon boys right now, Kirby, you, you, just listen, little James, just, you know, give me the benefit of the doubt here and just hear me out while I show you some realistic analysis, my friend, sheesh. Okay, so if we were to drop back down, well, back down to the average is this green box that I have here. And the green box for me could be one of the most healthy retracements in Bitcoin history as all of this old support and resistance confluence, right? Blow off top support. Then it was resistant twice here, right? Peak, peak. So all of this from here in 2017 and 2018, right? Then over here, our $14,000 peak from our prior cycle high. Then over here, our final resistance before we blast it off to the moon. Okay, my friends, if Bitcoin were in fact to drop down into this box, if now what's been the old bear market ceiling, right? Where we haven't been able to break through, right? You see this? Resistance, resistance, resistance. Now that we finally broke it, if we are to now back test down into it and hold as support, it could now possibly be the very polar opposite, right? Where it then becomes the possible floor of the new bull market rather than the ceiling of the old bear market. Let's get this crypto. Okay, my friends, if you are following along thus far and are appreciating this stream, once again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, tick the little bell and select all. Welcome to the channel. Okay, now, the interesting thing about this trend right now is that from a micro perspective, meaning on the four hour and one hour time frames, right, things don't really look that bad. Um, you know, even things like the alligator here on the four hour time frame. At least right now at the time of recording, we are seeing that bullish cross take place right now. The indicator signal is the green line crossing above both the red and the blue with the price action closing candles above it. We have finally got that change in the momentum right there. Uh, you guys should know, I showed this on yesterday's stream if you are subscribed here, we did get the bullish twist as well on the one hour time frame. And the Don, Don Don Carbonaccio did take a long position upon the breakout of this symmetrical triangle, right? Upon the bullish alligator twist on the one hour time frame, right? Breaking above this resistance. Uh, the Don showed you that on yesterday's stream. If you do want to see all of my personal trade setup ideas, entry ideas, exit ideas, etc., I do post all of that exclusively for you all in VIP. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. But moving forward here on the four hour and one hour time frames i mean things look okay especially from an alligator perspective but just keep in mind that we do have these micro areas of resistance that i pointed out keep in mind if we do plunge back down into the abyss here right what we want to see is the same level of support that we found last time right around you know the mid 16,000s. this level has to hold my friends if it doesn't hold right we are in jeopardy here that this now does become the ceiling, okay? So if we fall, it's very possible that we could be due for a full miniature bubble pop as I just outlined, okay, with the market cycle cheat sheet, right? And that for me, a full pop would be right back down into that green box area that I pointed out, okay? So keep that in mind. Also, just to so you understand, I don't believe that I had this uh, pulled up yet, so I'm going to show you. If we take the Fibonacci retracements here, okay, of the macro move, all right, right, what we just saw here from this bottom to this top, we do have the 0.618 golden Fibonacci retracement right in this range. I mean, for me, that is a healthy, healthy Fibonacci level to retrace to. And I mean, look where it lines up, my friends. Ding, ding, ding. Chicken wings for dinner. Tofu if you're vegan. Right at the prior peak, right? Right around 13,500. Okay, so, I mean, in and of itself, even if we were to drop to that level, that would absolutely decimate moon boy FOMO degenerates that bought in right at the top under the impression that we're going straight to a million, right? Right to the moon. My friends, just understand that none of that's realistic. I've, se I've seen so many people this week... To what is technical analysis? Why are you drawing lines on a chart? Bitcoin, it's not a stock, Kirby. Just understand, my friends, all of these people are back. People that have never even watched a video on technical analysis before, they're back in the market. They're in the market right now. 
The Don, the Megalodon, smells the moon boy degeneracy from 60 miles away. The scent is in the air, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, the Don is salivating, yet remaining cool, calm and collected, preparing to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto when the opportunity does in fact arise. Okay, my friends. So on that note, keep in mind that the four hour time frame, things don't look bad as long as Bitcoin can maintain itself up in this region. Yet we always do have the possibility here of this Wall Street cheat sheet playing out because look, I'm showing you it now. I'm going to minimize it here again and just, just look at this, right? Blow off top. If we were to trade sideways like that, and then I'm going to pull up the graphic again. I mean, what does that look like, my friends? <laughs> uh, you know, to me, in terms of that chart, would it really look that abnormal if something like that were to take shape, right? And here's the graphic again. I mean, you see the similarities, right? Leave me a, leave me a thumbs up and a comment if you see the similarity. Or if you're just uh, an extreme moon boy, uh, you know, hopeful, and, and you just dislike what I'm showing you so much here, uh, even though it's realistic, I, I guess you can leave me a comment and tell me that too, okay? Thanks, little James. Let's get this crypto. Now, we're going to move over to the one-day time frame because this is where I'm seeing several very concerning things, okay? And here are really the warning signs across two key indicators that I want to show you all right here, right now. So if we pull up our first indicator, I've been showing this here on the stream, and I know that you guys really do like this one. This is called the DPO. It's the detrended price oscillator. It tries to take the price action out of it and just look for similarities in market cycle structure. Uh, long story short, you know, this range down here has been so, uh, you know, essentially accurate in terms of, of calling bottoms of cycles, right? Or at least, uh, you know, very, very important swing lows, right? And very important swing highs, right? Notice swing high, swing high, swing high, yet they were all at the same point here relatively on the DPO and same here, swing low, swing low, swing low, all relatively in the same area. And you know, that trend uh, and that uh, relationship is essentially what I've outlined here with these two boxes, okay? So notice right now where our last market cycle top was, right? At about nearly 14,000. Look at where it peaked out at on the DPL, my friends, right around the same area that we've topped out at right now and have seen a plunge out of that range, okay? And look where it's dropped down to, right? All of the, the swing lows, right? Sure, it wasn't the exact bottom, right? But look, swing low, swing low, swing low, all of them right around the same area, okay? Just keep that in mind. Right now, the current DPO is nowhere near that range, okay? Nowhere near. So... Um, sure, it doesn't have to go down that low. And of course, past performance does not indicate future results. I'm just stating, hey, I think it's a little odd that we have tested up to an all-time high relative double top psychological resistance at the all-time high double top. We have all of these people back in the space. What do you mean, Kirby? Why are you drawing lines on a chart, Kirby? They've never, you know, we're, we're talking very, very new money to to put it politely, ladies and gentlemen, sheesh, new money. You could think of all the other words I could use there. Um, but uh, it's a little concerning for me, especially after a blow off top, especially understanding that, you know, market psychology is a funny thing that can play out <laughs> in very similar fashion time and time and time again. Okay. Just keep in mind the DPO is definitely a warning sign there for me. Now, here's another one. This is the DMI, okay? Uh, basically, it's using a directional movement index. Uh, directional movement here in the blue is the positive movement, bullish movement. In the orange here is the bearish movement. And the red line is the ADX, okay? So basically, here on the daily time frame, what we're looking for in the ADX, let's make this large for a moment. What we're looking for in the ADX is to basically be above a 25 level. I'll actually draw a line here for us just so you can get an idea of basically around the level that I'm looking at. Okay, so, you know, basically in that vicinity, when the red line 
is is up, right? That means that the trend strength, whether it's up or down, it's just the movement of the trend. This red line in a severe downtrend can be very high, right? Um, and same in a severe uptrend, it's very high. It's just showing you, hey, the momentum is very strong at this given moment, okay? So right now we've seen, obviously, the red has been on a rocket ship. And why? simply because the Bitcoin price has been on a rocket ship to the upside. You see this, right? The red line coincided with this rip with this whole parabolic move, okay? I hope you understand thus far. Now, with that, we saw the blue positive directional movement momentum moving up with that as well, right? Now, I hope that you see that there is a severe shift going on here, right? Where we've seen essentially a double top in the ADX, We've seen a series of lower highs on the positive directional movement, right? You see that. It's dropping, dropping, dropping. And right now, look on the other side of it, ladies and gentlemen. Creeping on up is the little bearish movement. Creeping on up. And if we are to actually see this cross here, ladies and gentlemen, with the ADX continuing down, I mean, this is what you see in terms of shifts in the market, right? This is what you see. Just notice something, uh, you know, like over here, right? Where we actually saw the plunge into the abyss, right? This started to change. The movement went from blue. We had a cross there for the bears, right? The ADX drops down, right? Because this uptrend where the ADX was rising, right? Has now essentially shifted in momentum. It's showing you, hey, 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 this trend is not looking the same as it was. Then we have a bearish cross on the directional movement indicators. Let's get this crypto. Just something to watch right now as well, my friends, okay? That we are possibly seeing the construction of a change in the overall momentum of this trend. Let's get this crypto. And also here, the alligator on the one day, right? The alligator right now on the four hour, very healthy as I just showed you. We did get that a uh, little bullish cross right now at the time of recording. Same on the one hour. We did get the little bullish cross, right? But when we look at this on the daily, it actually doesn't look as bullish, right? I mean, sure, we haven't crossed bearishly or anything yet, but you could see that the bands now have started to change, right? It's no longer just this nice fluid uptrend here, right? With widening bands, with the price action closing above all of the bands, right? It's not that anymore. We've seen the price action fall into the bands and we are right now seeing the bands begin to move sideways. And when the bands do begin to move sideways, it can put us into a series, uh, a point in the trend where we do get a series of indecisive days, right? Such as something like this, where it then becomes hard to understand the direction of the trend, right? Until we get a complete breakout of the indicator once more. Um, I'm just signaling that right now, the alligator, at least right now at the time of recording, has certainly shown a shift, uh, at least a slight loss in the momentum of the trend, right? You see that. And, and if you do see that again, my friends, I really would appreciate you just dropping a comment, you know, smashing a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, obviously subscribe, tick the little bell and select all, but it all really helps the channel. And if you do appreciate and see what I'm showing you here, just any type of comment, even if you just say thanks, I really do appreciate that, my friend. So uh, thank you very much for that. So, you know, right now there are some warning signs, my friends. There definitely are some warning signs. As I showed you guys yesterday, uh, I did enter a little long position here. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I told you guys that I was keeping a very tight stop loss. So I am already out of my trade at a profit here, which I'm fine with because we are entering a range of potential uh, resistance here. I'm already out of my long trade. I am looking for another trade setup idea right here, right now to potentially crush this market and get this crypto. Um, like I said, my friends, right now we have a lot of... <laughs> new money in this market, right? Um, and the fact of the matter is that these people right now are seemingly irrational to me, right? And that is likely going to cause a lot of crazy volatility here in this market. Just the fact that, um, you know, I have to dance around my words here and treat these moon boys like a baby, ladies and gentlemen, like a baby, treat them like a baby. Because if I don't, uh, you know, they get so upset, but it, it, it's fine, right? It's fine. We're just going to stay on track here. Look for realistic trade setup ideas to potentially crush this market and get this crypto. Um, and my friends, if you are interested in seeing all of my 
personal trade setup ideas, entry ideas, exit ideas, etc. as I look to potentially crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. Well, that is what you get from me exclusively in VIP. So if you're not already in my VIP, well, I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video, okay? So as average Joe and James at the water cooler continue to look at this market irrationally in a disillusioned state, my friends, you know it's the Don, the Megalodon, who's preparing to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto. My friends, on that note, I will see you in VIP right now after this video. Uh, just for good measure, one last time, if you didn't already, thumbs up, subscribe, tick the little bell, and select all. Welcome to the channel. I post analysis like this nearly on a daily basis, so subscribe, tick the little bell, select all. Welcome to the channel, my friends. I will see you all in VIP right now after this video. Thank you very much, and until next time, the Don has spoken. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. It's your boy. Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments, nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.